and want to thank Coach and uh, Marie Philippe and Jill for being here today. And uh, on, they had an excellent tournament, and um, they finished the season 28, six and three, which I believe is a program best. So, um, and one question by, or one uh, request that I have before we get started uh, for those who weren't here yesterday. Um, if we can, after coach's opening statement, if we can address the players first with their questions, and then after the after you finish with your questions to the players, then we'll allow them to go back to their teammates, and then we'll finish it with a Q and A for coach. Okay. Uh, I guess today you saw a uh, record-breaking team uh, play another great hockey game. You know, they'll obviously be great debate that this is the best women's college hockey team ever, uh, and, and they uh, earned what they uh, got. Uh, great team. I tip my cap to them. Uh, and it was one pretty special season for uh, our team, uh, the Boston University Terriers, that I'm very proud of. And I, I hope that everybody here today saw that there wasn't any quit, there wasn't any fight. Uh, whether it was down 2 nothing and answering, whether it was down 3-1 to one and having a backdoor play for Janelle Kohanchuk that almost went in, uh, whether it was down 4-1 and making it 4-2 and then all the way to, uh, I think, when Pooh slipped the defenseman and almost had a chance to make it a one-goal game down the stretch. Uh, I, I tip my cap to Minnesota and, uh, and love everything about our team and, and how they played. And I hope people uh, got to see that today, and, uh, including block shots, et cetera, et cetera. It was a fight to the end, and uh, uh, I thank everybody in our squad. We'll start with Matthew and then Joe. Uh, you were struggling with having to go on the outside. I thought it was with your game, but from what I was saying anyway. But um, you came out back on yesterday quickly. Is there anything to go to the trade with you? I don't know, I think I just was a bit uh, slow staying over there, but just try to get back there. And I think it was a uh, for the team, for myself, that you want to be there and uh, be there with my teammates. And I just wanted to be back on the ice and uh, help the team. Murray, you took two slap shots, right? You got hit twice by Bozak. Can, can you tell us where those got you? Did they get you in the same place? Uh, one on the kneecap, the one that I hurt, and one on my my pants, I was good with it, but it's part of the game and uh, we know Bozak like, have a great shot and it happened, part of the game and just got back there and uh, try to forget about it. <coughs> Go ahead, Meredith. The coach mentioned yesterday making sure that you responded quickly on goals. So what's going through your head in the third period when you get out there and Minnesota just scored in the second period? Yeah, for sure it was hard, but I think we came back in the, into this into the dressing room and the coach talked to us and even us, the team, just uh, we took it together and uh, talked to each other, never gave up, and uh, that's what happened. And in the third, I think we all started. I think we never gave up, and we know they have a great team and uh, really amazing uh, foreign defense and for sure a great goaltender. But we came on as a team and they took it. But I think we're all proud of each other and uh, we stood up together. Jill. Jill, from where you sit, do you feel like you just lost to the one of maybe the best women's hockey team ever? How Obviously, their record speaks for the for itself. They're forty-one and zero. No team's ever done that before on the women's side. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, I guess you just have to let the record speak for itself. Go ahead, Matthew. So did you feel like you were playing a different team in the third period, but in terms of shots and even block shots during the first and second pretty much, pretty much even, but it seemed like you were going to on the third. Well, I think that's a testament to the heart in our locker room. I don't know many teams that uh, would be down 4-1 to one in Minnesota, you know, under the <coughs> team after the second period and come back. And um, even, I know, Bracken blocked a shot with, I don't know, 20 seconds left in the game when we're down three goals. So I think that pretty much tells the whole story. Any other questions for the student athletes? I think we'll let you go. Thank you very much, Julie.